hello friends so here is another question on thermal expansion of solids so it is given that a circular hole of radius 1 cm and a brass sheet is kept at 293 kelvin what will be the diameter of this hole when the sheet is heated to 393 kelvin the coefficient of linear expansion alpha for the brass sheet is 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree Celsius. So here, this uh, let's say this uh, square uh, shape is the brass sheet. Okay, this is the brass sheet, and this is the hole on the sheet. The radius of this hole, the initial radius is 1 centimeter. This is the initial radius of the hole. So here the concept is that when the brass sheet, it undergoes thermal expansion when the temperature increases from 293 Kelvin to 393 Kelvin the hole the size of the hole also increases okay here the size of the hole also increases along with it okay the size of the hole also increases along with it so this is the concept when the size of the sheet it uh, increases because of thermal expansion the size of the hole also increases along with it. So it has been asked to find what will be the final diameter of the hole when the sheet is heated to a temperature of 393 Kelvin. Okay. So here we can do it using two approaches. First the surface expansion approach and then the linear expansion approach. The surface expansion approach will be a bit lengthy but once we do that we will use the easy approach then you can use the shortcut approach to easily solve these questions. So first let us uh, use the surface expansion approach. So the first approach which is surface expansion. Okay. The initial radius R0 is equal to 1 centimeter for the hole I am talking about. So the initial area of the hole will be equal to simply pi r0 square which is equal to square which is equal to 3.14 centimeter square. Okay, This is the initial area of the hole. Then here coefficient of linear expansion is given 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree Celsius. But if you remember the interrelationship between various expansion coefficient, the surface expansion coefficient beta is equal to 2 alpha. So it will be 40 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree Celsius, the surface expansion coefficient. Now we know as per surface expansion formula, the increase in area delta A is equal to the surface expansion coefficient beta, the original or initial area A0 and the increase in temperature delta T. So here the increase in temperature or the rise in temperature is from 293 Kelvin to 393 Kelvin. So a difference of 393 minus 293 is equal to 100 Kelvin. So we will simply put the values here. So it will be equal to <coughs> 40 into 10 to the power minus 6 beta this is original area 
3.14 cm square rise in temperature 100 Kelvin so the increase in area it is coming around 0 0.01 Two five six centimeter square. This is the increase in area. Okay, now the final area <coughs> now the final area of the hole so this is the area of hole I'm talking about initial area final area for the hole so the final area F is equal to initial area plus increase in area so this is equal to 3.14 plus 0 0.01256 centimeter square so it's equal to 3.14 one five two five six centimeters square so this final area of this uh, this, uh, this circular hole let's say it has a final radius of rf so the final uh, you know you know expanded hole let's say it has a final radius of rf so this area of this circular hole the final area we can write it as pi rf square area of the circle so here rf is equal to 3.15256 by pi that is 3.14 root over this much so it is coming around 1.5 centimeter this is the final radius of the hole so the final diameter will be equal to 2.004 centimeter this will be the final diameter of the hole so this is the area expansion or surface expansion approach okay this is the surface expansion approach next we'll get the same result through linear expansion approach so now we will do the same thing using a linear expansion approach okay so let's see how we'll get the same result so this is the quick way as compared to the previous one so it is given that the initial radius is equal to 1 centimeter so the initial diameter will be equal to 2 centimeter then alpha is given how much 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree Celsius rise in temperature is equal to 100 Kelvin so here for the diameter the increase in diameter as per the linear expansion formula the rise in or increase in diameter is equal to the initial diameter and previously this is linear expansion coefficient alpha the initial or original diameter and rise in temperature alpha d0 delta t alpha is the linear expansion coefficient d0 is the original diameter delta t is the rise in temperature so simply we'll put the values 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 2 centimeter that is the initial diameter into 100 okay so the increase in diameter is equal to 0 0.004 centimeter so the final diameter will be equal to the initial diameter plus increase in diameter which is equal to 2 plus 0 0.004 which is equal to 2.004 centimeter so this is the final diameter 
so in this way we also got the same result final diameter of 2.004 cm and through this area expansion approach also we got the same result 2.004 cm okay either way you will get the same result okay so whichever method you like you can go for it but i suggest that you go with this method because it will save you a lot of time once you understand the logic that whenever this uh, brass sheet okay this brass sheet it expands the hole on it also expands along with it okay that is the logic okay